Okay, so we've built our form and we've detected whether, uh, it, well, if it's been set or not. Now what we need to do is actually go ahead and grab our um, values here and put them into arrays. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and explain the pReg replace function. The reason being is because we need to understand how regular expressions work. Um, well, these are very, very basic regular expressions, but uh, we need to understand that we can pass arrays through to this function as well. So for example, pReg replace will look like this. Now typically we'll pass through a regular expression. So this will be a regular expression. This will be the uh, replacement. And then this here will be what we're looking it, it within. So for example, I could say string equals Alex went to the cinema and I'm looking within string. Now the regular expression, we might want to find Alex and replace this with Billy. Now, and we might just want to echo that, echo the result of this out. Now the problem here is, is that Alex needs a forward slash and a forward slash because we have a starting and ending slash for regular expressions. The regular expression goes within. So this now, when we submit, hit enter and click submit, it now says Billy went to the cinema. So this has got nothing to do with the form. This is just what we've done up here. However, if we don't have these, we've got uh, warning pReg replaced, delimitant must not be alphanumeric or backslash. So this is alpha, alphanumeric, this is alphanumeric. So it's taking these as the delimiter, but the delimiter needs to be two forward slashes, one on either side. So we need to not only um, take our string, our comma separated string and put it into an array, we need to walk through the array and add these on. Now you're probably gonna be completely confused now, but you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So what we're gonna do is we are going to um, create another if statement. Now I'm gonna say if empty, so this is sort of like is set, it's not really, but it, you know, it's the same sort of um, construct. Um, empty basically will take a value and it will check whether that value doesn't have any contents. And this also applies to things like arrays as well. Um, but it will automatically strip uh, left hand and right hand white space, which is brilliant. So we are looking for in dollar underscore post find. Now, if that's equal to, or sorry, equal to false, now empty will return either true or false. So if it is empty, it will return true. If it's not empty, it will return false. In this case, we can then go ahead and create the find variable. And we want to make this equal to explode. Our delimiter is a comma, because the user can enter comma separated values. We put a comma here for the second parameter, and that is dollar underscore post find. So, if you're confused, let's go ahead and print R on find, which is now an array. So, let's go back to here. I'm gonna enter Alex Cinema. What we now see is when I hit submit, we've got an array with two elements, one being Alex and one being Cinema. So we've split this. Now, the thing I didn't explain about preg, pReg replace is that we can actually have an, we can actually pass an array and an array to replace. So if we have an array of items here, an array of items here, this array of items will replace this array of items. But obviously the, this array of items needs to have forward slashes within each element. So at the moment, ooh, print our find. Oh, sorry, we haven't entered any text here. Submit. So this needs to have forward slashes on the left and right, and this needs to have forward slashes on the left and right. How are we going to do this? Well, we can use um, a, a function called array walk. Now, what array walk does is it obviously takes an array, and it then takes um, a callback function. So this is going to be add delimit delimiters. Okay, so we haven't actually created this function yet, so we need to go up here and create it. So function add delimiters. And in here, we're gonna take in a value which is then gonna be returned as, as its replacement. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to have an ambassand, then the variable name, and we're going to say in is equal to in. Now what this will do is it will just return the same value. So it's just returned the same value. However, we can do anything we want to this here. It will be put, placed back into here and put back into this array because the array walks through. So for example, we could um, append on a forward slash at the start and append a forward slash in the end. These are just sort of concatenating this string data on just here. So now what's going to happen is when we enter Alex Cinema and click submit, we get forward slash on the start, forward slash in the end of each array item. Now you also have noticed here that we've got this space that we don't need here. So we need to fix that. Um, if you can see it just there. Uh, we need to fix that. So uh, the probably the best way to do this would be to just say um, trim here. So trim will remove um, white space from the left and right hand side. We've also got L trim and R trim, but we're just going to be using trim. Uh, and now if I go ahead and just select these two again, you'll see that that white space has been removed. So now we've got this array, we can pass this through to the preg, uh, preg function and actually replace it with something. Now, you'll be glad to know that um, the replace um, process is slightly less harder because all we need is just plain text. Uh, stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and do this now. So um, I'm going to create a variable called replace. Now this syntax looks slightly different to what you may be used to. Uh, it's the ternary operator. The first thing we have is uh, is a condition. So we're saying replace is equal to, then we have a condition to determine what it's equal to. So for example, one, two. Now replace, if this evaluates to true, replace will be equal to one. If it evaluates to false here, it will be two. Okay. So what we can do here is we can say replace and we're checking if something's empty and that's dollar underscore post replace. So if the user has entered uh, text in replace, what do we want to do? Go ahead and explode dollar underscore post replace by a comma much like we did up here but this time we don't need to walk through the array to do anything um, and otherwise what do we want this to be just post replace that's fine we can just set that to its default value so if it's empty if it's not empty we explode it Otherwise, we set it back to, in fact, we don't even need to do that. We can just set that to nothing. Okay, so now we do exactly the same thing for the text. Um, let me just separate this out. It just makes it a lot easier to read. So text, we need to check if empty find is equal to false and empty replace is equal to false. Now, this basically means if find uh, isn't false and empty isn't false, we do something here. Otherwise, we do something here. So if the both of them aren't empty, we go ahead and replace. So what do we do? Well, we replace find. Remember, we have this array now with the slashes. So that's acceptable as a regular expression. We have a replace, which is the uh, array we've just exploded if it's not empty. Um, and what are we actually replacing? Well, we're replacing the text that the user has posted. So with two, uh, with the second now, if if it doesn't, if nothing's, uh, if uh, the find and replace aren't available, all we do is we just set this back to text, and then at least it can be displayed out in the text area with no replacement. Okay, so now that we've done this, in the next part of the tutorial, we're going to be looking at actually outputting this within the text area. In fact, I know we have enough time in this tutorial. So um, we um, now have the ability to enter, Alex went to the cinema and then replace Alex cinema oops, with Billy Park. Hit submit. Now, 
it's actually been replaced, but we're not outputting anything here, and that's the most important part, I guess. So within text area, we can define any value here that we want to be displayed uh, within the text area here. So what we can do here is we can actually open up PHP tags, and what we're going to do is we're going to echo, we're going to do another ternary operator, we're going to check if the text is um, not empty, or whether it's set or if it's set or not. Um, in fact, no, we'll check if it's not empty. That's that's the best way to go about doing this. And then otherwise output the text, otherwise just output nothing. So we're going to echo ternary operation. The condition is going to be empty equals false. And what are we checking? Well, we're checking if text is empty because text, remember, is our replaced text. If that isn't false, we echo text. Otherwise, we echo nothing. So let's go ahead and uh, hit enter. Uh, let's go ahead and type this again. So Alex went to the uh, cinema. Choose Alex Cinema Billy Park. Hit submit. There we go. It's been replaced. Now we have actually got this additional space here. Um, uh, so we'll need to tidy that up. So in the next part of the video, um, which is obviously optional viewing, we can we'll go ahead and we'll create a better method of actually um, exploding these values uh, and we'll see that we can again use regular expressions to explode these as well.